What's up, everybody? It's your boy Meeker for breakfast. Um, I had a taco salad. For lunch, I had a quinoa salad and a banana. And for dinner, I had quite a bit of pizza and about eight slices. <laughs> um, and I don't know if this is the case in Europe or something, but in America, at least in my family, we always get the largest slice of the largest uh, pizza pie that you can get because um, it's just the most uh, financially efficient, right? Um, and if the whole family is going to be eating the pizza, whether it be, you know, that night or through leftovers, um, it's just more, it's just the most, it makes the most sense to get the largest pizza, right? And, uh... Hmm. Um, I yawned like a cartoon character, so I guess. Um, but I had lots of pizza, but they were kind of small, medium pieces of pizza. Um, so, when you say, I eight pieces of pizza, you think, oh, how's that possible? But they're eight medium pieces. So keep that in mind, it's like four or five extra large pieces, which is still a lot of pizza, but less than you would think. Uh, but yeah, you know, my day was good. I woke up at 4.50 on the dot, and so I'm happy about that. Um, I got ready, did my thing, um, left, um, showed up at school. Um, English 101 was, re was really interesting. Um, on Tuesday, uh, my the professor was like, hey, um, we were talking about whether or not, I'm just a recap, but I'm going to mention the stuff we talked about this class. Um, so he was talking about, let me actually drink water. Um, he was talking about how, um, so yesterday, not yesterday, on Tuesday, uh, he asked if cultural objects implied excellence. Um, and I said, no, cultural objects don't apply excellence. And some I can immediately think of that was a cultural object but wasn't excellent was like a swastika. And I was like, you know, because like swastikas, you know, they're cultural objects, I'd say, but, you know, they are um, pleasant or excellent. And he said, and this is interesting, he said, why, you know, why isn't it excellent? And, you know, of, like, obvious, like, obviously it's not, it's not excellent because of the Nazis, right? But... But, um, you know, he talked about how he wouldn't touch that essay with a 10-foot pole, because that's, that's a crazy thing to write about, right? Uh, but I was thinking, like, man, you know, uh, the Nazis certainly co-opted a lot of previous symbols, such as Hindu symbols of the swastika, and, you know, through calling it the swastika, and calling it, like, the Nazi swastika, and through, you know, um, them also commissioning a bunch of art um, of like all these different things and these uh, different like biblical events, uh, they wanted other people to view the world through their lens, right? And that's why they commissioned all that art. That's why the swastika was co-opted from different things because all the Nazis did was co-opt other stuff and kind of do it through their lens. Um, I'm pretty sure they also did a lot of like runes and stuff, like weird stuff like that, you know? Um, and that's sort of what we talked about today. Um, and yeah, so he just talked about it on Tuesday, he talked about how he wouldn't talk, touch that essay with the 10 foot pole, but one student, uh, I guess it was a pretty good idea. Um, and they're actually going to write an essay on the symbol of the swastika and how it's been co-opted by Nazis, but also, you know, um, it's relation to the symbol itself and, you know, not calling it a swastika and using the Nazis language. Right. And, um, you know, I think that's pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, then math was good. Something funny happened during math. Oh, my face is all itchy, guys. My face is all itchy and greasy. Don't eat pizza, guys. It's so bad. When I do this, it makes my face look fat. Look at that. Look at that guy. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, <laughs> that's cr I've never done that before. That's crazy. You put your you put your fingers behind your ears and then you push forward. Go. That is so crazy. Um, yeah, so um, my teacher ended up having to leave for a conference, so we kind of had to end class early at like 4.30. Luckily, we didn't really miss any instruction. It was just like early class. Um, it was just a quick class, but he had to leave at 4.30 and he felt bad, so he's like, okay, you guys all pizza. So he ordered pizza for the class, which is really cool. Um, 
the funny thing is, is that, you know, when a class ends at 4.30 or 4.20, you know, a lot of people want to take advantage of that time, and that's fair. So a lot of people just left uh, when the class ended. Uh, and they knew that pizza was coming at 5, but it would take like half an hour. Um, so I waited half an hour, I did my homework, and then the class, you might as well. And, uh... <sighs> By the time the pizza had arrived, um, the amount of people in the class had whittled down to seven people. And there were eight medium pizza pies. So there were one, there's one pizza pie for each person. So um, I had like six slices of pizza, which again is a bit, but not actually that many. And then I uh, just grabbed an extra cheese, entire pie of pizza, which is just crazy. Um, and yeah, and I got home um, and uh, made this thumbnail. I, I made the thumbnail before I recorded the video today. I, I really cooked with this one. I love listening to music and making thumbnails because it, 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 it unlocks a certain part of my brain that kind of uh, happen if I'm like listening to a YouTube video. Uh, but yeah. All right. I hope everybody has a really good day. And yeah. All right. See you. Dude.